So essentially today we are out in out in the public. We work on the regional cybercrime units. So this time of year, unfortunately, around Black Friday and around Christmas, we see a load more scams coming out. People trying to defraud you out of their money, whether it's sending up a, a fake website to try and get your login details for your Amazon account, or something like your Netflix, or whether they're going to be out in the public trying to skim card details and things like that. So today, hopefully, we're going to be interacting with people, speaking to them about how to keep themselves safe online. We've got plenty of advice for parents as well. So we've got advice around what their kids might be doing on the computer. We know a lot of parents are quite happy because the kids are quiet and on their computers, but what are they actually doing while they're there? So we have our protection side, stop, stop you falling victim, criminals getting in, but then we also have a prevention side where it's stopping the young individuals, they're getting interested in their coding and their hacking, which is a, quite often a very, very easy transition into cybercrime because once they can learn to do what they can do with that skill set, it's very easy for them to then go and use it for the wrong, wrong reasons. So, yeah, for us trying to investigate cybercrime is really, really difficult. So for somebody acting as a criminal on the other side of the world, it's really hard for us to investigate that. Um, and the damage is already done at that point, so there's a real importance as us as part of the Cyber Protect Network is to try and make sure we get in front of people before they become a victim in the first place. So normally we're doing that online through the use of social media and uh, alert networks online. However, this time of the year with all the footfall for the Christmas shoppers, we thought we'd come out and do it in, do it in person.